So what we're looking for here is the proper frame for the person's face. Everyone is basically looking for the same shape even though they're not aware of it. It's up to the professional to do the kind of work that the customer is going to like. But nine out of ten people, I would say everyone, will like the shape that is most flattering for their face. Now I'd like you to remember this illustration because this is one of the basic principles of the whole session. Now that is, this is an exaggeration, but this is the type of a look we want on the hair. Now, as you can see, the head is round, but what we want is a square look because it's more flattering. So therefore, we're going to have to cut the hair a little shorter here in the center than here we leave it a little longer. The first time you see your customer, it's good if he's sitting in the chair with his head wet after the shampoo. That way you won't be influenced by the way his hair was styled before. Now, even though we're getting into our outline at this point, we still want to bear in mind that the most progressive way to wear the hair is the way that it grows from the pores. We still achieve the same outline. On your profile, that's primarily concerned with the nose and the back of the head. At most points, the head is protruding in this area, so therefore we want the hair a little shorter so we get this kind of a line. The only exception to that rule would be if the head were flat. Then we take a little off of this area and make our neckline a little shorter here. If the nose is protruding, then we want to leave the hair a little fuller in the back so the man isn't all up front. Also, we want to leave enough of an overhang in the front, but not to exceed the nose. It should just come back from the nose just a little ways. Now, because the head is curved in this area, that means that we're going to have to leave the hair a little longer in this area than we are at the high point of the head here and the high point of the head.